So welcome back again here to the Survival Works blog. Um, today we have a, a little fire burning and we're going to take a look at how to craft containers, bowls, spoons and such. It's really a canoe if you really want to go all out. But uh, it's the ability to use fire as a tool for shaping. So uh, the project we're going to start with today um, is to find ourselves a nice chunk of wood to work with. Uh, the softer the wood, the faster it'll burn, harder the wood. Uh, the longer it may last. So, but what we're looking for here is uh, the ability to make something like this, which is uh, every survivalist knows you need a spoon. A um, couple different ones that I've been working on here uh, over oh last couple days, and uh, some of these a little bit longer back. So, how do you get to a uh, a spoon like this? Uh, give you a quick little demo. So first thing that I wanted to do was to find the right piece of wood. Uh, so I looked around for something that had been seasoned and dry, uh, dead here with all the beaver activity behind me, easy to find uh, a lot of materials to choose from. So I found uh, a dead maple, uh, splitting it up, and basically gonna begin with this as our working surface. Uh, you can kind of see where we're gonna head to, a little bit of char spot that we can then scrape out using rocks or sticks. And uh, once that's kind of scraped out and you get it to the sort of uh, looking the way you want, the feel and shape that you want, you can actually start to, you know, carve this down uh, to create the spoon that you're looking for. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer and we'll show you kind of how we take the coals from the fire and we get them up here onto the, the wood and do this coal burning thing. One thing to realize is you don't really need flames to do this, you just need good coals. Um, and the type of wood that you use to make the fire is very important. Uh, using hardwoods like ash, maple, oaks, hickories, elms, anything in the, that kind of uh, category is going to give you the best coals for the job. So really we're just starting out with a, an ember. It's got to have some life in it. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it should be glowing orange. If you're blowing on something that's just a black chunk and nothing's happening, um, you're just being silly. So uh, pick out a nice one. Another way to go about this is to actually get like a, uh, an actual burning stick. Like that. You can hold that in place. We're going to approach this cooking show style, right? So as opposed to having you watch me work on this for the next, honestly, 10 minutes. It's not, not that long of a process to get it, but the carving and all. Um, we'll just kind of do a little fancy film footage and take you there. So we got a little nice uh, basin kind of going there. It's also uh, a little palette for makeup. Do some nice black smudges. Um, yeah, don't worry about getting too dirty here. It's, it's good stuff. Uh, so now we're going to bust out our knife and kind of uh, blank the spoon out.
coming along. So something to know about uh, coal burning is that uh, this was a, a limb from a, a tree here and uh, the sides are fairly strong because of the way the grain runs, but the end part here is going to be the weak spot. So whenever you're coal burning, just know that if you've cut the log into a section or the limb or the branch, that the, the sides can get fairly thin, but the ends where you cut um, have a tendency to break out, um, depending on the species of wood. But So leaving a little bit of extra space up there. little uh, knife technique that's good to know how to do is to basically when you're doing some of the more fine work like here you know you're just kind of carving you got uh, nice long strokes but when you're trying to shape um, around the spoon part uh, what I will do is just making sure that any fleshy part of my body is out of the way um, in other words the knife always starts in front of my skin uh, I put it up here like this and I'll use my thumb from this hand uh, put it on the back of the blade, and then I can do really refined kind of strokes. And really the motion is a little like this, kind of revving up the handlebar on the motorcycle type move. And that's a way that we work a little closer. If you turn it this way, and you start whittling here, you're gonna catch this this wood that sticks out and it's gonna split your spoon right through. So I, it's really uh, difficult to carve this way and not make things go wrong because that little chip that I'm carving there, the grain just continues straight through. So you could do a little bit of work like that if you're very careful, but then you, you leave those little chips hanging, flip it around and whittle them off. So, Depending on what shape you want to go for, you're looking for, um, oh, you know, kind of the sky's the limit as far as your sort of artistic expression. Uh, this was one that I made where I just kind of found this natural ridge line and sort of worked with it. A um, couple that I cranked out yesterday um, haven't been sanded or finished yet, but uh, more standard looking. This kind of uh, funky one here, this was a fun one of where I wanted to see if I could uh, do this whole process without using a knife. So I actually started with a chunk of wood, a limb, off of a basswood tree, and basically I, I burnt the uh, stick in the fire, and then I ground this on a rock to get the shape. Um, and same down here, basically the whole thing was crafted just with fire. The way I got these um, little kind of weaves going back and forth in here was by using a burning stick like this and I would basically set this on a burning stick and let it kind of burn a distance into the wood. I did that here and I did that here and um, then I would basically grind this down. So the reason this one's all black and ebony looking is just because it's been uh, in the fire. So lots of ways that you can do this whole coal burning thing. I think we'll put a pause on it there and um, in a future one, I will show you how to use rocks as sandpaper, uh, different getting burnishes and, and kind of shaping it to get to the refined product from, uh, from the kind of blanked out piece here. So thanks again for joining us on the uh, Survival Works blog. You can uh, find us on Facebook or at survivalworks.net.